Yeah, good morning, good evening, or good afternoon, folks from Funganola, Spain, and the last Palmeras Hotel. I've been here for about two weeks now. Now I didn't forget my razor, but I had to have a little bit of a cyst out here, so I'm going to have a shave. Um, this video is uh, on about the hotel. I've I've been here for two weeks now. I'm not sure when I'm going to finish the video off, but I thought I'd better make a start. So I've been here two weeks, uh, full board, and uh, I've had a great time. It's a lovely location to come uh, from the Nola. I've had some great trips out. Check all my videos on that. This is more about the hotel. Friendly people on the reception, on arrival, lovely room can't fault that you'll see some clips of the room uh, the food is average I'm glad it's not me saying fantastic because uh, I'd eat too much going here full board but it's it's edible it's all right uh, can't you know nice friendly stuff in the restaurant plenty of food uh, no faults I'm not too keen on the breakfast because the sausages and bacon aren't what I like but you know everyone else is eating it's everyone's choice but there's other stuff you can eat so uh, yeah so that's all right uh, swimming pools closed at the moment they've had sort of entertainment on most nights obviously because it's quite time of the year it's low key but good chap doing the entertainment uh, he engages well with all the uh, holiday makers so uh, anyway that's enough for now and let's go in and Join me on some more clips a bit later. Yeah, so this is the entrance into the hotel. Uh, just swing you in. The sea or ocean just over there. So we're just gonna go in. Uh, and we'll add some more clips on in a bit. So that's the reception there. So they're all friendly. So I'm just heading now. Uh, to my room which is 789 it's a good one to remember you've got three lifts here uh, that's the information on where what goes there and uh, there is another lift down the bottom which is the one that I use it's nearer to my room so uh, and there is a big uh, room there. There's another clip, which you'll see on the video when they had some entertainment on one of the nights. So, uh, just wait for this lift now. We'll see you in a minute. Yeah, just a little bed shot here. Lovely. Right, just going to do the bed test folks, oh, uh, not too bad, not too bad, catch you in a bit. Yeah, greetings folks uh, from the hotel room, when I arrived I was clean shaven but I did have a cyst here which I had a local doctor chop out uh, if you watch all my, all my other videos you can follow my story on that but uh, I've done a clip when I arrived in my room but obviously somehow I deleted some of the clips off I wanted to save so I'm just showing you a view on the balcony and then I'll show you a couple of extra views from the room so we'll see you in a bit Yeah, hi folks, this is just a little uh, view from me hotel balcony on the seventh floor, room number 789. Uh, so it's a lovely view. It's a bit cloudy this morning, it's, it's not that warm, but it's about seven degrees, that's what we've got to jump from today. But it will warm up later, but it's been averaging up to 20 degrees while I've been here. So there's the rip, rip view from my balcony. Let's just do a little 
pull back in here. So we'll catch you in a bit. Yeah, you get a good sized TV here with a nice table to stick all your stuff on. And also, I forgot to mention, you do get a fridge. It's got a lock on there, but it is open, or mine was. That's been very handy. Yeah, don't forget to bring your um, special adapters and plugs to uh, work your uh, charging stuff when you're here. This is just a little shot of one of the lamps and uh, you've got all your switches there to uh, work your lights in the room. Nice little table here as well. At what I'm saying to press the record button, Roy. It is early in the morning. Right, so uh, this is a, a shot in the uh, bathroom. Um, I normally do it when I get to the hotel, but somehow I've missed this clip to save it. So you get, uh, I do give you a spare loo roll, they always change that. You get two toilets so you can wash your feet while you're sat on the throne there. Um, you get uh, uh, dog hand soap there, PowerPoint just there. There's me, good morning, good evening, or good afternoon, folks. Uh, nice sink. The hot water did fail one morning, didn't work, but they did rectify it. And you get a hairdryer here, which works all right, so no need to bring a hairdryer. Um, yeah, it's good flush on the toilet. This is the, uh, you get towels up there, more soap there. This is a quick shot in the uh, in the bath. They come and clean it every day. Yeah, so there's some lifts there to get to me uh, room, or there's some more here. Nice little boat there. So, uh, that's, that was a lovely dinner. I had, uh, if I remember, I don't know, if I, if I can remember, I'll screenshot my dinner, what I had. Yeah, this is the lift. Um, we're on J. So. Come and join me, folks. Gotta go up to, uh, let's swing you around here. Number seven. So uh, again, thanks for joining me. Uh, I've had a lovely morning there and I'm just accumulating a few clips to add together for when I do my video on the hotel, spin around to me. So, uh, we're here now. Let's go. Thank you. Yeah. So I'm just heading to my room. Uh, yeah, it's all good. Oh, tracking's gone a bit off there, let's get back on. It's all good. Uh, it's a big site, it's a big hotel. It's going a bit dark in here. Uh, let's give you a spin round. There's my room 789. So we'll catch you in a bit. Yeah, I'm doing this filming while it's quiet. It's a lovely restaurant and the staff are first class. So, uh, yeah, really nice. This is lunch time. So, uh, this is a typical chicken skewer there. Bald spuds, lovely veg, mixed paella, going across to, uh, I don't know what that's supposed to be. This is uh, marinated dogfish pork loin and that's what it says on the tin there chips yeah lovely salad more salad the only one I don't want they call it the Russian salad I'm not supporting the Russian so I wouldn't have any of that so more dips there 
gonna watch my waist here yeah just a quick uh, shot here some of the puddings here and carry on round really nice dinner yeah greetings folks I've just come up to have a quick look at the swimming pool there's only one uh, chap up here somebody if it'll get past him looks like the pool's closed at the moment but uh, you can still come up here what a fantastic view there is a building site down there there's the hotel there the ocean over there there's the kids pool and this is the main pool we're gonna have a walk all the way round uh, I just uh, I asked at the hotel if they do trips I said they didn't but there is a girl there one of the holiday reps uh, she said oh you can book with us if you want to go on a trip so I'll uh, oh what a view over there it's gonna have to be a Sony Sony shot I think that is that is beautiful lovely now, uh, yeah let's go all the way around yeah there's the marina over there get the Sony out I think now. Okay, last reglas. Now for the rules. A la niña se dice niña, por supuesto, for the line, of course, we say line. Baringo decimos. Let's go. Adios. Adios. Yeah, see you in a bit. Right. Just going out now. Uh, so, uh, the hotel. Full star. Yeah, hi folks, this is uh, one of the rooms where they have the entertainment. Uh, you've got two lifts there. There's a bit of information. H is uh, sort of ground floor, J is the restaurant, number five is the swimming pool. Um, I must say, I found the hotel really good. Uh, the staff on the reception are very first class, uh, very informative. This is if you come on a, one of the tours uh, here and uh, you've got three lifts just there. This is, this is the games room. You've got a pool table here and uh, forget what you call it now but Man United against Man City could be another pool table there so uh, yeah it's quite a nice little games room and we're just gonna go past the reception now uh, a bit of bling just there there's a reception there very helpful yeah that's the bar so I've all the noise somebody talking louder than me they do a happy area just a quick swing round here let's go yeah there's the entrance into the hotel my room somewhere up there Hotel Las Palmeras that's what it says on the tin oh, these are some of the puddings here which uh, are nice some more here as well here I've got pasta here and Caribbean sauce and there's some 
veg here. You have your greens. Hold on there. I'm going to go along here. Not much room. Take my plate. Uh, carrots. Just a few. Beef stew. Beef stew, folks. And it's been nice all week. So we'll have a dollop of that. Get a roast potato. A little bit more stew. Let's go and see what else is on the menu. Mixed paella, not for me. Chips, small, I don't know what it is, some sort of fish. That's marinated dogfish. Turkey, gone on. Yeah. Good choice of uh, bread just here, bread and butter. Greetings folks, this clip is for the uh, review on the Ollie. I've got two of my viewers and subscribers, Jeff and Cherie, got the name right here. Uh, come to see me at the hotel. Uh, I'll just go to Jeff. Have you enjoyed your stay at the hotel, yeah, it's Jeff? Been really good. I'm sure we can't stay a bit longer. Yeah, you enjoyed yourself. Nice hotel. Very nice. Yeah, good. Nice hotel. Yeah. Food. Food's Room great. Room nice. Oh, yeah, I love the food. Yeah, bar staff and everyone. Very room. friendly. Yeah, got value for money. Oh, it's very good. Good. And it's Cherie. You enjoyed it? Good morning. Yeah, that was, yeah. <laughs> good evening or good afternoon. Yes, it's good to get you there. Nice time. Yes, lovely. Yeah, nice to see you both. Here anyway. Thank you. And, uh, Very nice seeing you. Yeah, yeah, it's been a good time. Uh, fall back now. And happy birthday for yesterday, Cherie. Thank you. Yeah, hi folks. The fried eggs were not with but right. just an update. They don't do fried eggs anymore at the hotel at the moment. We'll get some porridge now, so we'll see in a bit, folks. Right, so uh, here's my uh, breakfast. There's my porridge. There. Yeah, so you get a good selection of fruit here in the mornings and uh, croissants and cakes. Cereals over there. Different types of milk. Yeah, these tomatoes are nice. And, uh, waiting for the eggs now uh, oh porridge just there I'm gonna try a sausage today haven't had one yet um, this is it's called blood sausage but no thanks no fancy and that's the bacon just wait to get an egg yeah hi folks uh, this is one of my hotel trips. I'm just down at breakfast and uh, just got my toast. Uh, good selection of bread here. Um, I'm get me butter. Join the queue. can move it around the camera that ah, yeah. it's looking the bed in eh? yeah and then uh, if I swing it round to me like that and uh, I'm just gonna <laughs> oh, yeah. My name is Smile. Yeah. 
Pretty good. Right, this is uh, this is where they have they can have up to 600 people in here. So uh, I'm just gonna have a quick nose in. So see you in a minute. Let's go through. seating up the top as well so just a quick shot nice room right yeah hi folks thanks for joining me on the hotel review um one thing you don't get is you don't get an electric kettle. I did see in some of the YouTubers, they stayed at a hotel, they were saying, we ain't got a kettle, we ain't got tea and coffee facilities. Well, I've never been to a hotel in Spain, Portugal, anywhere but Britain, where they leave you the uh, electric kettle, tea and coffee. It seems to be in England you get it, but when you're abroad, it's something you don't get. Uh, so I've got a little um, kettle here, I'll just show it if I can. My brother Brian got it me. Um, it does collapse, so be a bit careful. I did lean on it, it's on the side here. Don't recommend to do that, but I was all right. So yeah, so that's handy to have. Um, don't forget when you come away to bring an adapter to plug in to see you can use your uh, British stuff as otherwise if you go and buy one locally they're a lot more money on things about Spain I don't want to come off too much off the hotel but I found changing my money you get more bang for your bucks over here if you do in the local shopping centre where you live so my advice is change a little bit or if you've got your card use your card but check the rates out when you come abroad you find they're better also very quickly in Funganola the local buses as we as I speak in January are free they might change that and also the train you can pay 10 euros and you get a four months pass to go up and down to Malaga on that line as much as you like for 10 euros which is absolutely fantastic you have to put your passport details just your number in at the station they're helpful there they'll do it for you so i didn't want to draw away from the hotel review but it's one plus about coming here so join me back in a minute folks yeah me again uh yeah again thanks for joining me folks i'm really going to be wrapping the video up soon um a few things i've found that uh if you want to book a, a holiday you know here uh, check your travel agents first see what they come up with um i found booking.com and sunshine holidays uh seem to do good deals i think the sunshine holidays who i didn't book with uh they seem a bit cheaper but check your rates out um basically i paid uh, for three weeks full board with the flight and the hotel transfer and insurance it was 1200 british pounds now um i did see it cheaper after i booked it but that's always the way with the old saying no good shutting the gate after the horse is bolted um but uh you could come from funganola to here on the train it's only a five minute walk you know to the hotel uh so that would save you a bit of money on transfers but maybe when your first time you come you just want to get to the hotel it's 25 30 quid the transfer maybe you want to pay that um yeah it's cheaper to, you know, the the other thing is that some friends of mine want to come in march which i may come along yet um they're asking how, how much it was well in march for seven nights uh for uh, 
half board from Birmingham, it's about three hundred and fifty pounds, and I told them the price, and I haven't, as we speak at the moment, they haven't said whether they're going to book yet or not. But that was for one person. When I put in for two people, it's uh, bed and breakfast, seven nights, March the twentieth from Birmingham with sunshine holidays. It's two hundred and twenty pounds. Uh, that's your flight and the hotel and your breakfast, which is pretty good. It's probably going to be another 30 quid on top for your uh, evening meals all week. So, um, and the other thing while we're talking of meals, I don't, I went full board. The only reason was it was, wasn't much more than uh, half board, but the trouble when you go full board, it does tend to draw you back here for your lunch. You think wherever you go, you think, well, I'm going to get back because uh, I don't want to, uh, you know, pay for that dinner. But uh, as the three weeks are going up, I'll get a bit fed up at the same meal, so I'll probably eat out a couple of times now. But I've got a few more days to go before I go home. Um, I say the food's not too bad. I have mentioned earlier they've stopped doing the fried eggs. I don't know why. I can't get an answer. One chap said it's summertime. We don't do them. Go and ask at the reception. I couldn't get a straight answer on the egg story. But us British do like a fried egg in the morning. I don't like the bacon here. I'm not too keen on the sausage. So uh, I was having uh, beans on toast and eggs but uh, I've tried the scrambled eggs and I don't like their eggs but anyway that's another story but there is cereal porridge there's plenty to fill you up on so anyway would I stay again yes hope to come back in March would I stay in that's a fungonola anyway yes would I stay at this hotel yes I would stay it's a great location for everything I've done about 30 videos on my holiday in three weeks maybe and I've put a video on every day well I've been here I've been to Gibraltar uh, Ronda which was great Mojas I've been uh, to Malaga quite a few times uh, Tolmarina so I've stopped all the way along different places I've been to the market car boots doctors beaches sunsets you know, I've done loads and I've, I've I've been on my own and I haven't been bored I've had a great time so again if you are on your own don't let it put you off coming away on your own uh, because it's such an enjoyable you know friendly place to come away to so uh, yeah so I think that's about all drop me a comment if you want to ask me any questions on my holiday if I can help you I will uh, I have met a few people here who've watched my videos and they've before they came over and uh, which I've seen people on the train in the lift saying hello. I'm not a big YouTuber like some of them. I haven't got thousands of so I've got a few thousand subscribers. I would like more. So if you haven't subscribed, it's free to do that. People think you've got to pay. You don't press that button. It helps me. Not for money, because I don't do it for money, but it helps me get that feeling, oh, it's great, I've got more people watching, and also YouTube share the videos around the world. So, anyway, I think that's I've rattled on enough, so I'm going to end the video. So, as usual, don't forget to like and subscribe. Big thumbs up to everyone that watches. I appreciate it. And if any of the hotel staff watch, Hi to them, all been great, looked after me well, give me a voice on when I was here to start with where everything was. Uh, now I know my way around, it's great. And um, I did say another video very quickly that I spoke to someone, and a couple of people from Finland, they, I said, you've never been to Fungalola before? And that's how I pronounce it, I know it's wrong. Um, I couldn't believe it, you know, and... Uh, I can't even, I've never heard of the place before I booked the holiday and um, it's fantastic. So that's all for now, so I think I'll say as usual, don't forget to like and subscribe. Big thumbs up to everybody. Let's hope there's peace in Ukraine and we'll see you all on the next video folks. Thanks for joining me. 
appreciate it and bye for now bye folks